Hi, my name is Rebecca Morrissey and I'm the principal of Topeka High School. It's my privilege to introduce to you Mr. Eric Bradshaw, the Distinguished Staff Award winner in the High School Educator category. He is someone who truly loves to build relationships with others. He understands the value of those relationships, whether it's staff, parents, his band backer organization, administration. He truly cares about people in the community and he uses all of his connections to the benefit of his students. He truly makes a difference for students. He wants them to be successful at this level and the next. And since he has so many years of college experience as a marching band instructor, he truly knows where students are going if they choose to continue to pursue music in the future. Why is he so deserving of this award? Well, he followed a 30 plus year veteran in this job. It was an important hire, someone who'd been around forever. And that's tough, it's big shoes, but he could fill the big shoes. What's most impressive to me is that he honored his predecessor. He had that, that teacher come to the first senior night and be there because that person was so important to those kids. And he did that with a grace that is not something everybody can pull off. He is undoubtedly someone who knows how to build on not only his own strengths, but the strengths of those around him. He has looked at the strengths of his band team. He has two assistant directors and he's taken all of their strengths, which are very unique and made sure that they benefit the entire program. I am so honored. Congratulations, Eric. I am so glad to have hired you. I'm so glad for Topeka High's family that we found you. And I'm so glad for a Trojan. I hope for many years to come. You deserve this award. Congratulations. I'm excited to tell the world about Miss Keisha Cross because I'm so proud that she's a Ross Roadrunner. You know, you can pick Miss Keisha out in the crowd. When you are around her, they'll notice just how much energy and enthusiasm she has for anything she does. Uh, this is evident in the way she structures her classroom, the way she interacts with scholars and families and, and colleagues. It's consistent with any of those. You know, she has this kind of mischievous smile on her face all the time, and she's got an honorary personality and that's just contagious. She exudes joy, which is something that I want for all of my staff members. But she's also persistent and thoughtful and kind and professional and works through challenges. As an educator, she works with our youngest students. She sees the best in every scholar uh, and she can concretely demonstrate growth and explain that growth to each of her students. So Ms. Keisha, you make us all strive to be better educators because of the model you set. Congratulations on winning the Distinguished Staff Award. You are so deserving and I'm proud of you. Well, we are one of only two elementary schools um, who only have one secretary. And so Mindy does all of the work that most um, schools have two secretaries do. Um, and that includes attendance, um, answering phone calls, fielding questions from staff. And then in addition to that, she also um, takes care of all of us and all of the students. And so she really is the heart of the building. Um, she uh, does everything she does with a smile, with a positive attitude, and she really is the one that keeps us all going. Mindy um, not only does a great job with keeping the main office going and doing her regular job um, in a wonderful way um, and uh, does that every day, like I said, um, but she also additionally um, knows every student in the school by name, knows all the parents, probably knows where they live, and so the staff and the students and the parents, really just our school community, look to her. So Mindy is just the biggest, most kind-hearted, loving person ever. Um, she is, just has the, the best personality. She is the most giving person. I would say overall, the one word that would describe her is a giver. Without her this year, I would not have been able to do my job. Um, she is the one that kind of the, the 
you know, I don't have an assistant principal, so I kind of call her my assistant also. Um, and so without her, I could not have done my job this year. Mindy, I love you. Congratulations. There's nobody I can think of that deserves this honor more than you. Um, you are my rock. You are my person. And I cannot think of any other that I would want to do this job with. I can't wait to continue my job with you. Hello, my name is Rebecca Morrissey and I am the principal at Topeka High School. It is my privilege tonight to share a little bit about Jake Kendall. Jake is a custodian at Topeka High School and he really stands out because he's one of those people who always has a smile on his face. He is busy all the time and he is busy quickly. He does not move from one place to the next slowly. Most of all, Jake is very service oriented. He knows what his job is and he really wants to take care of the people in the building. Adults, kids, doesn't matter, guests. Jake's just one of those people that wants to take care of others and it shows in how he does his job. But why do you deserve it, Jake? Well, let me tell you why Jake Rendell deserves the Distinguished Staff Award. He is never put out. If I need something, if anybody needs something, he'll drop what he's doing, he'll run. And if he was in the middle of something, you know, and he's stressed out, you'd never know it. He has a smile on his face and he just comes and takes care of you. And he makes you feel like you're the center of the world right then. And he is gonna do everything he can to make you feel better. You know, he makes other people feel good all the time. He just is one of those people knows how to put a smile on people's faces. You know, he does a wonderful job. He is a good custodian. He takes care of the building. He does his part. But more importantly, he is someone who builds relationships with others. He is quiet. He doesn't um, make himself have to be known. But you can't help but notice him because he's so dependable. He is so genuine. And he's just the kind of person that is a whole package. And we appreciate that, Jake. So from me, Jake, congratulations so much for being the Distinguished Staff Award winner in the custodian category this year. Because at Topeka High School, I can tell you that we are so glad you're part of our family. Uh, we are happy to have you. We hope you never leave us. And you are so deserving. Congratulations. to be here today to talk to you about Miss Rebecca LeClaire. She is my kitchen manager at Whitson Elementary. She is someone that I would describe as being a go-getter and always doing whatever she can to help out Whitson, the students and the staff. She at a moment's notice will say, sure, I can get right on that um, or do anything that's asked of her in the middle of serving um, the students. She is also going out and interacting with the children as well as cleaning and helping the custodian. She's also in charge of her kitchen staff and she does such a great job interacting with them and has developed some positive relationships with them to where they really feel like a connected team and that's been really fun to watch. There are so many reasons why Miss Rebecca deserves this award, but I would like to congratulate you, Rebecca LeClaire, on receiving the Distinguished Staff Award for the Food Service category. You are more than deserving. Congratulations. My name's Rebecca Morrissey and I'm the principal at Topeka High School. It's my privilege to introduce to you Dr. Laura Lyons, the Distinguished Staff Award winner this year as a building leader. If I were to describe Laura to other people, I would tell them that she's very intelligent. She's experienced far beyond the three years she's actually been in assistant principal's role. She is someone who goes the extra mile for everybody, whether it's a staff member, a student, a parent, a family, even community people. She's just the kind of person who will do her best for everyone. She follows through. She says she'll do something she does and she checks back with families and with kids all the time. She cares about people and she works hard to build relationships with others. 
She's someone, as I said, that will take on a job. There isn't anything I don't ask her to do that she won't take on and do. She works countless hours and hours. She might be a little bit of a workaholic. She's a problem solver. When you throw a problem out, she's someone who has ideas and she'll generate those ideas for you. Um, more than anything else, she is going to go places herself. She has such a bright future in whatever it is she chooses to do. I am so happy and it is my honor. Laura, congratulations so much. It is just such an honor to get to do this for you. You are someone who I get to say I hired into the Topeka Public Schools Administrative Family and made you a part of the Topeka High School Administrative Team. You have certainly brought your strengths to that endeavor and I appreciate it. Most importantly, when you're famous someday, I'm going to get to say I need you. Congratulations, you're so deserving. Ms. Martins has always been an active member of our learning community. Uh, as a paraprofessional, she steps right in to assist teachers and students. She really cares about our school and what's happening with our students and goes out of her way to ensure that she can provide the best service possible to everyone involved in our community. Anyone who knows Ms. Martins knows that she is quite the jokester and has a beautiful sense of humor and laugh. She lightens a room wherever she goes and kids really enjoy working with her. Uh, teachers enjoy having her because she is active and she is involved and is, uh, takes steps to uh, take initiative to do what needs to be done. Anytime we need something extra done at the school, she is always willing to pitch in and do whatever is needed, whether it's something instructionally in the classroom or something extracurricular outside of the classroom. Uh, Miss Martins is bubbly. She's got, like I said, she has a great sense of humor. She's fun. She's energetic, and she is positive. And she is just the person that, when you need something done and you need it done quickly and done correctly, she's the person you go to. Hey, Miss Martins, the French Falcons are so proud of you, as you are very deserving of the Distinguished Staff Award in the Paraprofessional category. We are blessed to have you a part of our community, and you certainly show that you are French-tastic. Congratulations. Paula Riley, principal at Robinson Middle School, and I am here to congratulate Miss Sheila McDonald for receiving the Distinguished Staff Award. She is so deserving of this award for many reasons. Uh, my first impression of Miss McDonald was as a new principal to Robinson the day before school started, I decided I wanted to paint the office and Sheila, without hesitation, uh, stepped up and helped me paint uh, an area in the office that, that really needed to be touched up. And what I realized about Miss McDonald is not only is she willing to work hard, but she also likes to have fun, has a great sense of humor while she's working, um, so that way you're working hard and having fun at the same time. Um, and I really think that that shows um, who Miss McDonald is. She has been in the district for over 30 years. She has worked in multiple buildings. Um, and one thing that you notice about Miss McDonald right away is that kids absolutely love her. They seek her out. To them, they are her trusted adult in the building. Uh, but then not only do the kids seek her out, our parents and our families do the same. She has built such strong trusting relationships with all of our families um, that they know that she is uh, the go-to person um, if they should need something. So Miss McDonald, I would like to say congratulations to you. You are so deserving of this award. Um, congratulations.
Dr. New, this award is the result of many small acts of kindness for the Topeka Public Schools and the Topeka community. The word can't is not part of your vocabulary. You look for a solution until you make a situation right. You make a difference every day in everything you do to help the people around you, and I'm proud to have you as a member of the Human Resources team. Hooray for you and your recognition as distinguished staff. I am honored to speak on behalf of Mrs. Gail Ramirez for the District's Distinguished Staff Award for Classified Support Staff. Mrs. Gail Ramirez has worked for Topeka Public Schools for 42 years. During that time, she's worked in federal programs with parochial schools, along with being the District's Technology Curriculum Specialist. How I would describe Mrs. Ramirez is dedicated, reliable, um, conscientious. She's one of those um, teammates or colleagues that when you give her a task or a project to complete, you know that it's going to be done in a timely manner and it's going to be done in the highest quality. Um, she's been instrumental most recently in bringing coding and robotics curriculum to Topeka Public Schools, um, providing the support to teachers in the classroom to get the, to implement that along with um, leading and facilitating the District Innovation Academy and writing our digital citizenship curriculum. She is a phenomenal employee um, and in so deserving. She has touched so many lives in Topeka Public Schools throughout her career, um, staff, students, and the community. Um, there is no one more deserving of this award than Mrs. Ramirez. Sergeant Kelly Roberts is an amazing part of our team. Uh, he takes care of the truancy portion of uh, our program and does an amazing job with that. But he also takes on a lot of additional duties within the, uh, the agency. You know, we have requirements for training reports and reports to the state and others as a result of us being a law enforcement agency. And so he's very quick to step in uh, and help with all of that type of work also. Well, he gets along with everyone very well. You know, at, at Meadows, he was actually made the officer of the month, the employee of the month, uh, because the kids over there love him so much. Uh, he has an opportunity to interact with uh, the students on a fairly regular basis, and he, he always exudes a very positive attitude and represents the agency well. Uh, very enthusiastic, uh, very much an individual with a can-do attitude, uh, always takes on those hard things and, uh, and gets them taken care of for us. Kelly, you're an amazing individual within our department. We, we would have a really, really hard time working without you, and we are very privileged that you received the Distinguished Staff Award. Congratulations. Why did I nominate Meredith Royston for Distinguished Staff Award for First Year Teacher? Well, it's quite simple. She's my unicorn teacher. Now, what is a unicorn? Well, a unicorn is a mythical creature that we only hope to see because we know they're few and far between and they really don't even exist. But I'm glad this unicorn did exist. Meredith graduated a couple years ago with a teaching degree. Her and her husband together. She decided to stay home uh, as they had a child while her husband pursued his teaching career as a special education teacher in Topeka Public Schools. After a couple of years, she decided to apply and we just happened to be looking for a special education teacher as the school year started and progressed. We thought we were at a hope that nobody would apply and that is why I call her my unicorn. She literally fell out of the sky. I checked applications daily and there were nobody applying for special education positions. When I saw her name come across, I thought, all right, we'll see what it's about. The expertise and professionalism that Meredith brings to State Street is far beyond what I would expect from a tenured teacher. Nobody would walk in and know that Meredith is a first year teacher. 
She helps with technological needs with many of our teachers. She has come in mid-year and built quick relationships with some of our most difficult students. She has seen tremendous growth. As a first year teacher, she has jumped leaps and bounds as we have transformed what our special education program looks like. She has jumped through every hoop and obstacle to ensure she's not only meeting the needs of us as a building, but also of our students. Thank you so much, Meredith. And congratulations on winning Distinguished Staff Award for First Year Teacher. I, as well as the rest of State Street, know that you deserve it. Congratulations. Taylor Sharp is a sixth grade math teacher at French Middle School who, who first year who stepped in day one as an experienced pro. Uh, she is creative, she creates dynamic lessons that are engaging for students and just has all those qualities of being a top-notch teacher. When you walk into Ms. Sharp's classroom, you will find kids actively involved, whether it's in a small group with her, working with a paraprofessional or another staff member, or even just working at a math station at their seats. She incorporates Kagan Cooperative Learning. She incorporates technology. Uh, she just finds ways to make sure that kids are engaged at a rigorous level. I would describe Ms. Sharp as a nurturing, calm, positive math teacher who is attentive to student needs, who can handle any kind of situation with a calm presence, and just tackles any educational challenge with ease. Ms. Sharp, on behalf of the French Falcons, we congratulate you for being named Secondary Teacher, First Year Teacher of the Year. We are so proud of you and so proud to have you on our team. You are definitely French-tastic. Joan Valberg is a blessing in our building simply because she's so calm, not a whole lot rattles her. The impact that she has on kids while she's thinking about the direction that I'm asking her to go is incredible. She has taken our Scantron scores for our middle school kids just through the roof, like kids that came in that had no confidence in what they were doing. And she teaches reading and language arts. And so when you think about you know, kids who are struggling in reading and to get them to make the gains that our students are making, you know, Joan is the reason that, the, that these kids are reading better, are comprehending better, are getting better grades, and it just affects their entire academic career from here on out. She has um, wonderful relationships with kids. Like, that's the first thing she does. And if you can imagine that with um, in addition to building relationships with our staff and the middle school staff that's around her, they really just, they're one cohesive group. And um, for a long time, she was the only female in that group of, of teachers, so she had a long, a lot of, uh, a lot to bear with that. But um, she, she just is a, a dynamic teacher, and I think she's got the respect of her, of her colleagues because she's able to do so much you know, with kids and, and make the gains that kids are making with her in her class. Joan, congratulations. I know you're a very humble person, but you 100% deserve this. Um, there is no better person that I could think of um, in our building to represent us in the fashion that you have. Your, your strides with kids, the way you build relationships with kids and, and your peers, you really are a leader in our building, and I can't say thank you enough. Um, just even being new in the building for taking on new ideas and taking on new perspectives. You really and truly are a distinguished staff and for that I thank you.